The year 2010 saw the return of the Philippines to the Southeast Asian football stage with a commanding performance in the AFF Suzuki Cup. The Ascal stayed unbeaten in the group stage and caused the tournament's biggest upset, defeating defending champions Vietnam 2-0 before eventually bowing out to finalists Indonesia in the semi-finals. This year, the Philippines are rebuilding a new army for the 2012 edition of the Suzuki Cup, and one of the weapons in their armory is midfielder Stefan Schrock. Football Asia caught up with him to get his views on football in the Philippines and his journey from Germany to Southeast Asia. Yeah, I played for, for the youth team of Germany, but uh, my heart, um, every, uh, every year I'm getting older, my heart is more Filipino than, than I was younger, so I'm uh, very proud and, and happy that it happened to, to play for the Philippines. My mom was... Uh, taking good care of me all, all the time and so I can give her something back because everything I am, I owe to her. Representing the Philippines for the first time is a moment he will always cherish. It was a very emotional moment for me. To, uh, the first time we, we played in Sri Lanka was my first game, so uh, to sing the national anthem and, and wear the, the colors of the Philippines was was such amazing, nobody can imagine that for what it means for me because we played for Germany and you play every week for maybe 40,000 people in, in the second Bundesliga but for the, to play for the Philippines even if it was for 1,000 people in Sri Lanka was my, my knees were shaking and I was nervous like it was my first day in new school. The growth of football in his country has been tremendous in the past five years and looking ahead, the Pinoys might just be the team to beat in another five. Five years ago I uh, was on vacation on Philippines. Nobody knows the Asgard, so and after five years uh, you say that again, right, everybody is known us and uh, is proud of us and so, so we try something to give back for the nation. I think Philippine football is uh, it's uh, just on 5%. Uh, if you see how much quality and how much uh, young talents there live in the Philippines, if the conditions were good for the, for the Filipinos, I think in maybe five, six years we, we can face Japan or, or the South Korean. Most of the team members have been brought up in different nations across Europe, yet the understanding between them is excellent and the goals unanimous. We try to, to make fun with our hands, we do hand signs and stuff like that, but uh, normally everybody speaks uh, English a little bit like Angel. <laughs> so we are very, very close together, so you don't need to, to use words. Former Chelsea footballers, the young husbands, have been instrumental in the growing popularity of the sport back home. Philip and James are uh, have a good education at, at Chelsea, so they, they brought the Philippines. They are a very big part of that, that explosion um, in the Philippine football. And yeah, they're very good players, very nice guys, and uh, I like them very much. His experience on German soil could prove to be an asset for the young Ascals being groomed for the international stage. I've grown up in Germany. Uh, uh, live there so I got the German style of football is more discipline and tactical technique. I try to bring my skills and uh, with my experience in, in second Bundesliga I try to, to help the younger players to teach them how to handle situations. The team for the AFF Suzuki Cup might not be as complete as the fans would like it to be. But if the last six months are anything to go by, then Team Philippines will have the title in clear sight. So if uh, every player can be joined the Ascal squad, it uh, would be very fine because, you know, the Europe-based players uh, cannot come um, during the season because uh, we got a lot of games in the, that time, so it would be hard to get through only with local players. But I think uh, if, if Coach Michael do that hard work like he did the uh, last, last six months, so it's, 
uh, I tried. I hope uh, they will be happy. While national duty is new on the midfielder's agenda, his club career has been a work in progress, which now sees him don the colours of 1899 Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. I worked hard for in the last three, four years for that to, to play in the Bundesliga. Uh, tried with my old team to promote it and this year it happened and so I'm very proud uh, for signing a contract for, for this big club and I hope yeah, I can bring my, my skills and develop me for, for the next level.